Remember how I said that we don't need a mere makeover, but we need a, a total spiritual rebuild? Well, Jesus called that rebirth. And that's just what happened to you the moment you prayed and trusted Christ. You were born into God's family and made alive to God, no longer separated from Him. And with this new birth come some pretty awesome and important things. God says you are literally a new creature. 2 Corinthians 5, Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. You're now alive in God's sight, spiritually speaking, whereas you were before you were spiritually dead. This means you have the capacity, by God's grace, in your heart, to experience a personal relationship with God on a daily basis. This is the close relationship he's always wanted with you. And it will lead to all kinds of internal changes for the better in your life. You now have the capacity to truly change for the better by God's power, not just by self-improvement. God will grow you and change you from within if you'll continue to let him. He tells us in 1 Peter 2, as newborn babes, Desire the sincere milk of the word that you may grow thereby. In God's family, you're a newborn. You have a new beginning in God's sight, and there's much growth to experience in your new life. You have been born again, according to Jesus, the Bible way, okay? I'm not talking about like a politician or an athlete. God's way, just like 1 Peter 1 says, being born again, not of corruptible seed, but of incorruptible by the word of God, which liveth and abideth forever. So as we close our time together in these videos, I just rejoice in your decision to accept God's gift. But there are a few things I really want you to know. First, you can never lose your salvation. You are secure in God's care forever. Though there are many, here's a couple of references from God's word that tell us this in the Bible. For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. That's a pretty strong passage. Here's another one. In whom also you trusted after that you heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation, in whom also after that you believed, you were sealed with that Holy Spirit of promise. This verse in Ephesians teaches that God sealed you, permanently placed his seal of ownership spiritually upon you, the moment you accepted Jesus. Again, God promises in Hebrews 13, I will never leave thee nor forsake thee. These are just a few of God's promises that once you have been born into God's family, you can never ever be unborn. Second, God wants you to grow as a newborn child. As a newborn baby has a lot to learn so is your relationship with God. He says in 2 Peter 3, grow in grace and in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. To him be glory both now and forever. There are many ways you can grow closer to God. In Acts 2, the people who trusted and believed in Jesus assembled together in church environments to learn the Bible and encourage each other. It's important that you quickly find a true Bible-believing, Bible-teaching church where each week you can learn more about Jesus and, and find friends who will encourage you in your new journey with Jesus. If you'll connect with me on our website, we would be happy to recommend to you a good church in your area where you can learn the Bible and grow in God's grace. Friend, You've got a whole new life, okay? You're a new creature in God's sight, and you have a new eternal destiny and a new heavenly Father. He wants to provide for your every need 
guide your every decision, transform your life from the inside out, and lead you into a future that fulfills His eternal purposes in you and through you. Just as you trust Him by faith for salvation, He wants you to grow in faith day by day, learning more about His love and His Word and His plan for your life. So you're going to love this journey, okay? All I can tell you is He's awesome, and you're going to love growing closer to Him and getting to know Him. Now that your sin debt is taken care of, you have an invitation to enter into God's presence at any moment. Hebrews 4 says, Let us therefore come boldly into the throne of grace, that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. You don't need a priest or a mediator. You can come directly to your heavenly Father. Anytime he is ready to talk with you, you can pour out your heart in prayer, and he will walk and talk with you through this life, through his word, the Bible. And he says that his word is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, that it pierces to the dividing asunder of our soul and spirit and the joints and marrow of our lives, and it, it's a discerner of our thoughts and of the intents of our hearts. And so I encourage you, begin attending a Bible-believing church. Begin reading the Bible, God's word, and begin talking and walking with him every day. You'll find day by day, that your heart will long to grow closer to Him. The more you get to know God, the more you're going to love Him. The more you find out how much He loves you and just what He has done for you, the more irresistible you will find Him to be. We began our time together on these videos with this verse. Come now, let us reason together, saith the Lord. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Though they be red like crimson, they shall be as wool. You've accepted God's gift, Jesus. He's taken away your sin. As he has taken away your sin, you have become his new creature in his sight. Not by what you do, but by what he has done. <laughs> so congratulations on your entrance into the family of God. You never need to fear death again. You forever have the promise of eternal life, not because you earned it, but because you accepted God's gift. Now, you hold the greatest and most important message ever given by God to mankind. Who do you know that needs to hear this message? Who do you know that needs to see these videos? Would you take a moment right now and share it with them? Why don't you pass along these videos or a copy of the book done? It's free online, digitally, and it's very affordable in print form. Remember, it's not about do, it's about done. Now begin to let Jesus transform your life from the inside out. Let his goodness within show itself through your life. God says we are his workmanship created in Christ Jesus unto good works which God hath ordained that we should walk in them. Live out loud for Jesus, not to earn his favor, but because you already have it. Look forward to your future with great confidence and fearless expectation and anticipation. As it is written, I hath not seen nor ear heard, neither have entered into the heart of man the things which God hath prepared for them that love him. May God bless you as you begin your new life in Jesus. He will never let you down.